Let's take a quick look at Cloud One Network Security in action. We have a public EC2 instance that can receive traffic through an internet gateway. We will demonstrate a log4j attack to this public EC2 instance. Then we will set up Cloud One Network Security with a simple two-step configuration process. As part of the deployment, a network security endpoint will get created in the AWS account. This network security endpoint sends the traffic to the Cloud One network security service for inspection. After deployment, we will configure the internet gateway to route EC2's inbound and outbound traffic through this network security endpoint. Now the log4j attack will not be successful as it will be intercepted by the Cloud One network security service. For the demo, we are using this demo VPC that contains a public EC2 instance and an internet gateway. Using an external server, we launch a log4j attack on our public EC2 instance, which is successful. We begin on the get started wizard. The first step is to add the cloud account. The launch tag button here takes us to the AWS CloudFormation console. You will be presented with the CloudFormation stack template with all the parameters pre-filled. This CloudFormation stack will create an IAM role for the Cloud One Network Security. This IAM role provides the necessary permissions for creating the network security endpoint. Once the stack is created, we can copy the ARN of the IAM role created by this stack and paste it in the Cloud One Network Security Console. This concludes the first step of our deployment. For the next step, we click on Deploy Network Security Endpoint button. We find our demo VPC and click on the Deploy Protection button to create the network security endpoint. Though we can deploy in multiple availability zones, but for this demo, we will deploy in a single availability zone only. We will also request to create a subnet for the network security endpoint. And on this screen, we can provide the desired CIDR for that subnet. Now let's check the status of network security endpoint. Once the endpoint has been created, the Cloud One network security is configured and any traffic sent to the network security endpoint will be inspected. There are multiple ways to route traffic to this network security endpoint. Here, we will use AWS Middlebox to quickly route traffic to our network security endpoint. We select the source, that is the Internet Gateway. Middlebox is the ENI of our newly created network security endpoint. And the destination subnet is the subnet in which the public EC2 instance resides. Now all the traffic between the Internet Gateway and the public EC2 instance will be routed and inspected by Cloud One Network Security. The Log4j attack that succeeded before now fails since the Cloud One Network Security is protecting the EC2 instance. We can also go to AWS CloudWatch and see that the logs of this Log4j attack event have been published there. And this concludes the demo for the Cloud One Network Security. 
talk to a trend micro representative and get cloud one network security for 30 days at no cost thank you